pra saber onde é, velho. I mean, I feel like it's pretty hard to explain something like just to weight the matter of importance of something, but thinking of how important this project can be for skateboarding, I can just say like, you know, look at where skateboarding is right there. You know, it's skating on um, the Brazilian's most famous architect, it's like biggest, babies you know and we're skating in memorials we're skating in things people never thought skateboarding would be allowed and not only that like this is something that was illegal you know 20 years ago skateboarding's like been put as a crime for years and been it has been seen as an outlaw doing culture lifestyle so you know this is that, you know, we're skateboarding in one of the world's biggest, like, architecture pieces. I would say the main thing is just looking around and being like, I'm actually skateboarding here right now, and we're here with all this crew just to do that. All the security guards are actually here to not let people get in our way, you know, and these guys are meant to not let anybody skate here like all year round and they're here letting us skateboard and smiling with that and being happy about it and like that's something that was pretty insane to see you know and the whole scenery just looking around and being like look where I'm skateboarding you know and look at this opportunity of being able to just be here right now I feel like that's pretty like insane I mean, the idea started out as just some crazy dream. I grew up, I grew up with family living in Brasilia, which is the capital of Brazil, where Oscar Niemeyer has all like the main of his pieces. You know, he developed the city actually. So 
I've always dreamed about skating on those on those skate parks that weren't made to skate and that were made 50 years, I don't know, like 60 years ago. It's insane. 